I've always said this about these kind of players. When you get into bed with these kind of players, you're going to come out smelling bad. I mean, yeah, they're great players. Antonio Brown is going to change the way the Raiders are looked at offensively. So you bring him in. He, he, he turned Pittsburgh into a, a spit show. It was awful. And now he's here, and he's about to get suspended. And how much does it affect it? Here's according to Vegas. Okay, before the Antonio Brown supposed suspension. It's not official yet. And this just happened within the last couple of hours. Right. The, the, the game was a pick em. What do you think it is now? I would say... How much did he swing the odds? Uh, two and a half. Good, two. Broncos are two-point favorites because Antonio Brown's probably going to be out. So let, let's catch up. Uh, Antonio Brown's been a nudnik the entire preseason with the helmet situation. Uh, he also missed some practices because of that. And then Mike Mayock sent him a letter and said, you're going to be fine. So the total of the fine was about $45,000. Might be a little 53. bit more. 53. Okay, 53,000. 53, and Antonio Brown, because he can't help himself sent it out on Instagram or Twitter with a very cryptic remark, everybody's going to pay, whatever. And then Mike Mayock today at practice, they had a confrontation in front of the whole team screaming at each other. And then Antonio Brown caught a pass from Carr and then fired the ball into the uh, fence. And then he kicked the, uh, the ball that he was holding while he was arguing with Mayock. He punted that away. And now it looks like he's going to be suspended. And... Is he worth the problem? Now, he's a great receiver. He's probably a Hall of Fame receiver. Is it worth the stink that's going to be attached to you to asso no. associate yourself with Antonio Brown? No. And you know who looks better today? Ben Roethlisberger, who was apologizing up and down because he said the stuff on the radio about him, and he said, I wish I hadn't done it. Antonio Brown looks like he's a complete jerk for doing this. The Raiders are the perfect spot for him. Gruden is the perfect coach for him, and still he's making this a mess. But he's, he's, a, he's a wide receiver that just turned 31 years old in July, and he is a pain in the neck. He just is. And also, he put up some tremendous stats. What is it? One, two, three, six straight years of over 1,000 yards receiving. Had 15 touchdown receptions last year. All right? But let's give some credit to a system that consistently competes for a playoff spot and a Hall of Fame quarterback throwing him the ball. So you need a good quarterback, you need a good offensive line, you need a good system to work. So I don't know what numbers he would have put up with the Oakland Raiders because Carr is not Roethlisberger and the Raiders are not the Steelers. But is he worth the headache? No, he's not. Well, now he's not. I mean, not now. I mean, again, if 25 years old, but even then, st no, no, still I in mean, the NFL, I don't mean that. These, these disruptions are a problem. I don't even mean the age part. I just mean with the level of disruption. Because I've been watching Hard Knocks. I'm on the last episode. I'm like 15 minutes into the last episode. And he seems to get along with everybody. He's quite likable on Hard Knocks. There's a, there's a lot of that makes him likable. And, and then these stories keep happening. Listen, I do understand the helmet thing at the beginning, right? There is a piece of the helmet part that I understand why it was an issue. But why, the fact that it just kept coming back over and over again, they couldn't put it to, get to bed. It had to be so public. Even yesterday, why did he have to publicly talk about being angry that he was fined? You missed practice. It was unexcused. You got a letter privately. They didn't embarrass you publicly. Right. They didn't come out you and say... You made it public. You made it public. What was the point of that? And I'm just so confused as to why you would go to these lengths because, to be a pain. Because today's athlete, it's all about being in the spotlight, their brand. Everything has to be public. Yeah, Everything. But the, but they have this to lift the much. skirt all the time. Nothing is no, private. No, and I get that, but that's also uh, an excuse to just say, well, that's this generation of, of player. Yeah, maybe it's not what we grew up with or what Peter even grew up with, but still, there's a level. Peter's right where it just becomes a, a bit too much. I but get that the, these guys are me guys, but this is really but disruptive. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Everything that happened in Pittsburgh... The Raiders lined up to get him. If the, now, in this story on ESPN.com, there's a, a paragraph. There are some within the Raiders that want the organization to move on from the Mercurial Brown, according to Schefter, Adam Schefter. And sources around the league believe that the team could suspend him with the idea of trying to void the $30.125 million guaranteed in his contract. And I will guarantee you something. If they did that... They'd be a team that would step up and get them because no, there that's be. why these guys do what they do because there's always going to be somebody. But